Hey, you Finesse. When you're trying to kill that Dallas grass, and one of the issues is people just don't know what it looks like. All right. So all, you, all the lawn care experts and all this and that, everybody can tell you what it looks like. That's kind of what it looks like. Maybe some pictures on the side, and it looks different throughout its process. You'll see it with the caterpillar seeds on it, all this and that. Now, the, the areas that are green, I'm treating them. And I'm gonna treat them with a formula that's similar to glyphosate, but it doesn't contain glyphosate. The reason I want you to do it now in the fall because your Bermuda grass is going dormant. Now, in the past, I've made video videos saying that you should not apply a uh, glyphosate Roundup in particular to your lawn. When, when people say do it when it's dormant. Now those people, uh, the misinformation is, is not misinformation, it's how people treat their own lawns. Now I found it best if you're gonna use this practice, do it when it's going dormant. Don't do it when it's in dormancy about to come, uh, springtime and it's about to come out of dormancy because those roots that were activated in your Bermuda grass, they're gonna get damaged because you're spraying a glyphosate product and glyphosate stays in the lawn longer, okay? Now, the product that I'm gonna use is spectricide weed and grass killer, does not contain glyphosate, also does not stay in the lawn as long. Okay, guys, and another thing, one of the things with the Dallas grass is the Dallas grass is a uh, perennial. It, it comes back year after year, the plant. Now, unlike crabgrass, the plant itself once it dies off it's gone it never comes back but the issue with crabgrass is it has so many seeds that they keep regerminating so with dallas grass you got to try to eliminate the seeds and you got to try to kill the plant down to the root so it doesn't come back this process works but it's not a one-step process it's something that you may have to keep doing two or three times throughout the year. Okay guys, look, I just want to show you the formula right there. Now this formula right here, it says it lasts from three to five months. We're going for the three months, guys, because in three months from now, guess what? We're going to reapply some of this stuff right here, all right? So I'm just going to show you me going down here. Hopefully you can see that, me putting down it. I'm not going to show you doing the whole yard because it's going to take too long. But guys, we're just going to go ahead and apply it to this part of the yard. Y'all for next look, we applied the granular. A little noisy. But if you, you see those white, you see them fast. Little white granules down in there. Next we gotta come, we gotta spray all this stuff right here. Now what's not Dallas grass, it's being killed off also. If you wanna spray your whole entire lawn, that's up to you. You know, generally I'll spray the areas that I know it's infested, but I would not spray areas that are not infested just to be spraying them for weeds. If you're gonna do that, just use a regular weed kill for long. Okay, you are finesse. Look, I'm just gonna show you this formula real quick, all right? Guys, if you stay to the end of the video, I have a link that's gonna show you how to mix chemicals the right way. But this is the formula that I'm gonna use. Now, I'm only showing you this because these two are not the same. This is for weed kill for, for lawns, all right? You spray this on your yard and it won't hurt the grass. This is concentrate weed and grass killer. It kills everything. This is the one that you're gonna use right here. Depending on what you use, read the directions. This says use anywhere from five to seven ounces per gallon. We're going with seven ounces. Guys, if you wanna see what you're spraying, you can add an ounce of uh, marker dye. And some of you still have the five <laughs> pound bucket of Perdomine 65. Some of you got smart and actually ordered the Perdomine 65 WG from Sunnyland. I have a link in the description for this one right here. This is five ounces right here, guys. So if you don't have an extremely big yard, that may be an option for you right here. And the gallon sprayer, and this is surfactant, guys. You mix, listen, seven ounces of this, 
that's optional at one ounce this is the the, the the key right here mix half an ounce i don't care if you treat your whole entire lawn once before mix half an ounce if you cannot get this product guys that's fine because you put down the pre-emergent the granular form i'm only using this for spot spraying this helps with those seeds fall off that dallas grass into the soil and you're treating it to kill the plant at the same time you're going to spike it with this to hit that one particular spot where those seeds fell off and you're going to maximize your protection even though you're putting down that granule mind you we're doing this in the fall guys mid fall we're not doing this when this grass is about to come out of dormancy all right we're doubling up two different chemicals that's prodiamine this particular formula has that thigh up here in it you need one gallon sprayer you can have a two gallon but you want to fill it up to the one gallon line and you want to put maybe an ounce of surfactant in that also once you mix all of those together shake it up real good and that's the formula okay you are for next now i got my mix right there and for you guys who don't know what mix i use time step times right there in the corner go back to that part and the formula be there if you're going to use my formula bear in mind make sure whatever weed and grass killer formula you use if it says use three ounces per gallon that's what you do the, the spectricide weed and grass killer says three to five to five for excuse me five to seven five for general use seven for best results all right so you can see we got some what we we'll assume is dallas grass right there i'm just going to go ahead and spray that I'm spraying these spots. Guys, I remind you, when you spray this, wherever you spray it, if you got live grass around it, it is going to die. I'm just telling you, this one reason why I don't, in particular, like to spray the entire lawn with it. Um, but some people do that to, to, to kill off everything. Now, the theory behind it is when you spray glyphosate, it only kills the top green portion my theory is it kills anything that's alive so if your roots are still thriving they're gonna suffer they're gonna get some damage good thing about bermuda grass you know it bounces back it bounces back and you can see you can see those granules right there i had byd junior to come in and uh spray uh blow it back in and guys what i'm gonna do is basically i'm gonna walk this yard i don't have the market died but i'm gonna walk this yard okay yard for next and that's it right there that's how you the beginning of killing dallas grass all right they have other stuff you hear people say msa whatever it is called um this these are items that you can go into the store and buy you don't have to order all this stuff online easy for the average homeowner just be mindful to follow the directions of the weed kill that you use weed and grass kill that you use note that if you spray it on live grass it is going to kill it do not spray this on your yard and, and you spray it and it's all of a sudden turning brown and looks burnt because that's what it's designed for it's designed to kill from the top to the bottom all right and that's one of the processes we need to get rid of that dallas grass the pre-emergent depending on which one you use i doubled up on the um sunnyland 007 because it has that thigh up here in it People love using the prodiamine because prodiamine technically is supposed to stay in the yard longer and you get a more even coverage. But most people don't know how to even apply that. So the granular is a real quick way of putting it down. You do that one-two combo in mid-fall or if even at the end of fall, if you still have the temps, spray it, kill off the Dallas grass from the tip to the top. 